So, hey guys, we're in Jaipur right now. Room tour! Oh, room tour swag! This is how we're starting the video. Welcome to Jaipur. We got a really awesome room. $90 for four nights. Pretty baller. Is it four nights or five nights? Four nights. Four nights. What up? Jaipur, here we come. We're taking you by storm. We got a little chill out area. And let the video begin now. Good morning and welcome to our first full day here in Jaipur. Um, I'm not feeling my best, but it's not because I ate bad food. It's just because I got a cold. So today we woke up a little bit late because I got to sleep in. And now we're going to go to the train station because hopefully in a couple days we're going to go to Jodhpur, which is a blue city. But before then, we're going to explore today and hopefully go to the pink city, which is here in Jaipur and check out a bunch of really, really awesome looking forts. <laughs> train ticket turned out to be a lot more hectic than we thought. Hopefully we can still book it. There's a way to book it online so we'll make friends with someone at the hostel and hopefully they'll be able to book our tickets because that was way too crazy for us. <laughs> we got my mans over here. He's bringing us all over Jaipur. <laughs> Woo! Ruthie, you ready? Let's go. Let's do it. We're guide Ruthie, <laughs> Amber Fort, what up? We're gonna go there. Hey look, that's Amber Fort. We're gonna walk up. <laughs> hey little hey. lady. I'm so excited, we're seeing the best part of Jaipur first. Look, it's the Great Wall of India. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually called that, but it looks like it. How do ladies keep their hijab on? Here's Ruthie spinning again. Oh, I'm spinning? Yeah. Whee! <laughs> It's beautiful, and if you think this looks steep, that's because it is. Ruthie, hit him with the cinematic shots. Let's do it. catch sunset. Sunset's supposed to be at 515 so we have about an hour to explore it and then watch one of the most beautiful sunsets ever. Sunsets here in, in India have not disappointed so we'll check out what Jaipur has to offer. So they're filming a Bollywood movie here. <laughs> it's a bunch of umbrellas. Ruthie's a Bollywood actress now. No, no. <laughs> Cups and cigarettes laying around the room. 
Really? Woo. Oh wow. That's fire. Look at that cell phone tower. So beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. So that's the King's Summer Palace. It's pretty awesome during the day and it lights up at night, which is super cool. Kicking off the day today at Howell Mahal. The camera's, will, camera's at 11%, so let's hope that it gets it through the day. We got a portable charger. We'll see what happens. Regardless, we'll have a fun time. Howell Mahal is like this really, really, really pink building, and it's supposed to be beautiful on the inside, too. It's supposed to be gorgeous. Can't wait to show it to you guys. <laughs> from the outside and super pink which is another reason they call it pink city even though it's kind of orange but we're gonna check it out on the inside a lot of people will just take photos from the outside but I want to see what's going on inside these holes weren't made purposefully but they seem like spy holes like you can look into them and see what's going on outside <laughs> spying on everyone in the courtyard Time. Just a lot of food. We're just two spicy people in spicy India. <laughs> You're my spicy man. We're about to get our hands dirty, so we're not gonna show you us eating. Just know it's gonna be delicious, because it is. Mm. Welcome to delicious food, India. Ruthie, what'd you think of the meal? I loved it. Of course. Giving it five stars. Of course. <laughs> seven stars. <laughs> Out of seven. Hey, 
Ruthie, where are we? Jantar Mantar. It's an astrological museum. They have the largest sundial in the world here and we're gonna find out which one it is. There's like a bunch of sundials here, so I don't know which one it is. There's one over there, one over there, one over here, one over there, one all the way over there. I'm so tempted to climb up all these stairs. Look at these stairs right here. I'm gonna climb up those. And there's stairs over there. I just want to climb them all. Ah. This is, I believe, the largest sundial in the world. I'm gonna dial it up. Doesn't work. I don't know how to read sundials. Is that bad? Look, look, look. The best I don't picture know in the world. Oh, the dresses are so beautiful. Yeah, Ruthie was gonna get a sari today. I need to poop. We gotta go. Me too. Those are the stairs Hammer was talking about. One of them. They're so cute! Right now, right now we're at the tombs of the kings and this is where a lot of the kings, they would dump half of the ashes into the Ganges River and then the other half they would keep it here. It's beautiful and it's amongst the mountains. there's nobody here it's so beautiful and it's so empty and maybe we've seen like five other tourists here I don't think this is as known but it's so cool to just like wander around some of these temples are so old yet so beautiful and I think what makes it the most beautiful is all of the mountains surrounding the whole entire region you're just like in the middle of it all it's awesome it's only 30 rupees to enter Exactly inside, like this. Wow. That's so cool. Again, we have to see the points. That's beautiful. We just went to this textile factory where they showed us like how they created the colors and how they create all of their suits and saris and scarves and whatnot. And Ruthie just got an awesome scarf. A little bit of backstory. I got the tickets for the train from one of the guys that worked at the hostel. Luckily, we booked it online. It's about 3 a.m. right now. We're waiting for a train, and it will be about an eight-hour train all the way over to Jodhpur. So it's going to be a sleeper train, our first experience on a sleeper train in India. 